Hello and welcome to part five of the seller's edition from consultation to closing. I'm Misty Mackey, principal broker and team lead of Mackey Real Estate here in Utah. Today we're going to discuss deadlines. Now remember, when buyer and a seller come to an agreement, we call this acceptance. We also call it going under contract. And once you go under contract, deadline times start ticking away. The first deadline was seller's disclosures, and we gave you 16 pages to fill out of yes and no questions. We ask you to be upfront and honest. Then the title is going to send over a title report, and we'll be sending that to the buyer's agent. The second deadline is the due diligence deadline. The buyer is going to do their due diligence. They're gonna check everything in the house, from the roof to the basement, electrical, plumbing, insulation, all of the things. They're also gonna look for safety and health issues. They're gonna look at traffic reports. They're gonna look at criminal reports. They wanna make sure that this home is safe for them and whoever may live in it. So, number two deadline is due diligence. The third deadline is finance and appraisal. Unless it's a cash buyer, then we don't have to worry about it. But nine times out of 10, your buyer is going to be getting a mortgage and they're going to be working with a lender. The lender is doing their due diligence and the buyer is making sure that they can afford this house. Rates may change. They may lose some money that they were gonna to put towards a down payment. They may now need a co-signer. This all has to do with financing. If at any time during this finance and appraisal deadline, someone loses a job, they're gonna lose their financing and this will affect that deadline. Also with financing is appraisal. So an appraiser is going to come into your house. They're gonna look at it from top to bottom and they're gonna make sure that the house values at what the contract has requested. So whatever purchase price your buyer has put on that contract, the lender wants to make sure that it's worth that amount. So finance and appraisal. What if appraisal comes in low? Well, one of three things can happen. The buyer could walk away. It didn't appraise for what they wanted. Or you as the seller can come down to that appraised value. You, the appraiser says it's not worth much more. And keep in mind, if it's an FHA loan, that appraisal is gonna stick with your property for six months. That's right. What if you as a seller are not willing to come down, but the buyer still wants the house? Did you know that the buyer can bring in an appraisal gap? That's right, they can bring in that extra money. But each property is different and each transaction chain is different. So depending on the negotiation, it could go either way. The last deadline is settlement. Settlement is when buyers and sellers go to the closing table. Let's discuss that next. 